Hi, today I'm going to be doing an oil change on this X540 tractor. This process will apply to all the X500 series tractors, but this particular one is an X540, so your process might be slightly different. I'm going to be doing it according to the John Deere manual. I will be reading it step by step, and I will be reading the manual so that you don't have to. Let's get into it. All right, so it kind of starts up here. Uh, we already ran the engine to warm the oil up for a little bit. Uh, it's on a level enough surface. Uh, the hood is actually off this vehicle. So we're moving right along to step four. Uh, put drain pan under drain valve A, remove drain cap B, and drain oil into pan. Allow oil to drain completely. On the machine, that looks like this right here. I uh, got the drain pan. I'm just going to loosen this. Yep, I would uh I would say uh definitely time to change the oil. That looks uh pretty dark. Not great. It says 247 on there. I think I'm yeah, I'm up over 300 hours. So uh, this is kind of long, long overdue. And we're cruising right along to step five. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, allow oil to drain completely. So we'll just kind of let that chill for a few minutes until it stops. Of course, it never fails to start a messy project and instantly run out of paper towels. Okay, oil has all but stopped dripping from the drain plug. Our next step is to remove the dipstick C. That was easy enough. Uh, step number seven, wipe dirt from around oil filter. I kind of already did that, it's pretty clean. Yours might be uh, a little bit dirty, but you can pretty much get in there and get that all clean. Place the drain pan or funnel under filter tray. I might have to grab a funnel, that might be kind of tricky. And remove old filter. And there we go. Let this drain out a little bit. I bought this home maintenance kit on Amazon for about 90, 90 bucks. This is kind of what we're using to do the oil change here. It comes with a couple goodies. You get the filter, you get the uh, the uh, oil, obviously, you also get a uh, fuel filter, a air filter, and an air cleaner assembly. It also comes with two spark plugs, which are already installed in the machine already. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a nice little kit. If you didn't want to use the John Deere, uh, you know, OEM filter, uh, this machine actually had a Wix filter on it. And the part number is 51394. So if you just want to buy a Wix filter, it's your standard auto parts store. Uh, fun fact, my Toyota Yaris actually takes the uh, same size oil filter as my lawn tractor does. I'm not sure if that means I have a cool lawn tractor or a really terrible car, uh, but it is kind of nice that they are the same. Cruising right along to step number 10, put a light coat of fresh clean oil on the new filtering gasket. To anyone that's done an oil change, this is pretty standard stuff. Here's your new uh, filter. It has this rubber gasket on there. You don't want a double gasket, so make sure that uh, the gasket from the old filter definitely came off with the filter. And we're just going to one-hand it, I might add. Uh, cool. Uh, and uh, the finger, and a quick little lubrication all the way around. 
down. This is to prevent the gasket from sticking the next time you do the oil change. Again, pretty standard stuff. And we're gonna spin this on and snug it up. There's my light coat of oil. And give it a few turns there. Manual has some specification of making contact and then an additional half turn or whatever. Just hand tighten it, make it nice and snug. It'll be fine. I'll install and tighten the drain cap. That's this little guy that we took out earlier. I'm actually gonna quickly wipe off any residual oil we have on there. And then we'll tighten that guy down like so. We are now on step 13. We are adding the oil slowly. Don't want to overfill it. That would be bad. Uh, like I said, we have the X540, so we are going to begin approximately with 2 liters or 2.1 quarts. Uh, it's weird that both specifications, liters and quarts, are different than the milliliters slash fluid ounces. Here I thought I was gonna get through the day without having to do math. Okay, I did the math, so 2.1 quarts equals 67.2 ounces. So I'll leave that little note in there. I had to do math this time, but next time, nope. So I'm just gonna do two of these. This will get me uh, vaguely close. And then we'll uh, fire it up, let it run a bit, check for leaks, and then uh, use the dipstick to check the oil level and make any final adjustments from there. that all in there. Pretty sweet funnel setup I got. It's kind of a hard area to access, so like a short funnel like that isn't really gonna work very good. So you gotta get the big one. Okay, so we started the mower and checked for leaks, which was one of the final steps. We didn't have any. So everything is tight. If you're gonna have any leaks, it's gonna be coming out from here, underneath, or kind of spraying out. Uh, or if you don't have your uh, drain plug tight, that could also leak too. But uh, we are good to go. We just gotta do a final check of the level and we are done. Doing a final check of the oil level. It says for correct oil level, do not turn cap on threads. So basically we have wiped this clean with a paper towel. What it wants you to do is just insert it into the tube. You're not gonna twist it. You're just gonna pull it back out and take the reading from there. And I would say we're looking pretty good, but I might uh, break the seal on that third container and just add a few more ounces to bring us all the way up to that full mark. We're not quite there. Okay, we added another splash of oil and we're just gonna check this one more time. Again, insert the dipstick all the way. You're not going to twist it onto the threads or anything like that. Remove and check the level. And we are focus 100% full there. All hash marks are covered, uh, which was better than we checked the first time. So we should be good. That should be just fine. And... Uh, you always want to 
check it as you're running it. Uh, mine kind of chokes a little bit, uh, blows out some smoke on startup, so I'm sure it consumes at least a little bit of oil, nothing too major. But the uh, final step in the manual is to uh, continue to check the oil level as you are operating your machine. So that was pretty easy, and we're done. And that does it for the oil change video on the X500 series tractor. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where I change the oil on my Tesla.